Hello, it's D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I got some news regarding the PlayStation 5, the artifacting issues, the console crashing, and people having to send it in to Sony. I think I may have the cause of this. Now, before I get into today's video, I want to let you know that it was brought by Games on Daily, and it is a gaming news platform that brings all the latest gaming news from multiple sources in one place. It has a great, super fast, clean interface, and anyone can submit articles from external sites and create their own content on the site now it's a site that I've been starting to use and I have to say it is a fantastic site and I do suggest it and I will link it in the description down below now today I really want to get into these PlayStation 5 issues now both of these next generation consoles have been out for about two weeks now we are getting some issues on the Xbox Series X it doesn't really seem to be associated with the hardware it does seem to be a software thing so hopefully in time the developers will patch this or Microsoft will just issue a system release that will fix some of these issues now on the PlayStation side we are seeing some hardware issues with the PlayStation 5 now many users have reported that their system bricked and they had to send it in for Sony in order to get it repaired we're also seeing a host of users posting their games artifacting on the PlayStation 5 or their system just completely shutting down and in order to get it running again you had to rebuild the database now today gamers Nexus did a thermal analysis on the PlayStation 5. Now Gamers Nexus is the top of the food chain when it comes to these type of analysis. Now he usually does most of his testing on the PC architecture but with the console's popularity he is also covering the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Now today he revealed that the PlayStation 5 does not have adequate cooling that it's running a little bit too hot for his liking. Now I don't want to give away too much of the video because it really is a great in-depth analysis of the PlayStation 5 thermal so I will link that in the description down below. Now, in short, he was disappointed with the cooling solution of the PlayStation 5. He found that when you turned off the system, that it took about 20 minutes for the system to go down about 20 degrees Celsius. The memory on the system also took about 10 minutes before it went down in degrees. Now, this I don't think is a really good thing for the PlayStation 5. Like I stated, we're seeing a lot of users posting that they're getting artifacts on their PlayStation 5. Now, this usually happens when you open overclock your GPU too much or it's overheating. Now it does appear that the memory is not getting adequate cooling according to Gamers Nexus and once again I have to clarify that this guy is the top of the field in what he does. He is unbiased so you guys can say whatever you want to say about me. This guy calls it right down the middle and his expertise is well respected in the YouTube community. In fact they call him Tech Jesus. Now like I said today he was saying that the cooling solution solution for the PlayStation 5 is quite poor. He found that the memory was not adequately cooled on the PlayStation 5 with the cooling solution that Sony chose. Now this would explain a lot of the artifacting that we're seeing on the PlayStation 5. Now for instance, if I have my GPU on the PC and I overclock the memory too much, it'll either start to artifact or the system will crash. Now when it starts artifacting, usually it's because it's running too hot. Now if you don't have an adequate cooling solution in the PlayStation 5, this would explain why some of the PlayStation 5s are having issues when running games. Now we have to see how many PlayStation 5s are actually having this issue out of all of the PlayStation 5s that have reached the retail market. At this time we don't have these numbers, but I will say that I am seeing this occur a lot more than I would like to see. Now fortunately for myself, my PlayStation 5 is fine. I'm not having any of these issues. I had it crash a couple of times, but I'm not seeing any type of artifacting. And for the most part, it's been smooth sailing for my PlayStation 5. Five. Nonetheless, this is really troubling that the PlayStation 5 doesn't seem to have adequate cooling solution for its memory modules. Now I hope that Sony can fix this in the future and Gamer Nexus actually alluded to this that Sony has two ways of fixing this issue. One they can do a hardware revision on the console itself. They can make the outer shell of the PlayStation 5 with some fins to allow better cooling on the system. Another way is ramping up the fan speed on the PlayStation 
PlayStation 5. However, if they do the latter, it would make the PlayStation 5 considerably louder. Now, personally, I think we have to wait till we get more data to see how widespread this problem is. Now, the issue that I have is that a lot of PlayStation, I would say super fanboys, have been going after the Xbox for an underperforming at its launch with multi-platform games. Now, I think this is down to the software and the tools of the Xbox Series X. Obviously, it is a more powerful system than the PlayStation 5, but right now, it is not performing like that. However, the PlayStation guys came out in droves and they really were going hard at the Xbox Series X. However, with all the reports of the PlayStation 5, you don't really hear any of these guys talking about it. Now, the fact that Gamers Nexus has done a thermal analysis on the PlayStation 5 and has concluded that it does have a poor cooling solution, I think that this problem can no longer be ignored. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Are you having any issues with your PlayStation 5? If you are, let me know in the comment section down below. If you think this is just a small margin of consoles that are affected by them overheating or crashing, also let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.